at a university in Turkey did a study uh -oh. on, <laughs> on uh, fat men versus thin men and who lasts the longest in bed. <laughs> Is, was this study made for me? Was, <laughs> was it a friend of mine that uh, did this study? Uh, all right. Um, I have not seen the results of the study. I am finding out with the audience. Okay. So I am going to go with fat men. Fat men. For the win. Last longer in bed. According to this questionable study done. What do you mean questionable? In a questionable university in Turkey. How, how dare you question studies coming out of uh, Turkey? <laughs> No, you know what, though? Based on what their explanation is, it makes sense, okay? Oh. So they claim that uh, overweight individuals or overweight men have uh, produced more of a female hormone. Mm -hmm. And because of that female hormone, it causes some chemical... Wait a minute, wait a minute! How did this story go from a win to a loss? <laughs> <laughs> okay, went from FTW to epic fail. What's with the female hormone nonsense? Jake, own up to your female hormones. So Everything's hell no. okay. So are you kidding me? Something around here? <laughs> Cannot play with them. Cannot <laughs> win with them. Cannot coach with them. Can't do it. With female hormones? You definitely can't do it. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, tell me why. Tell All right, me why. and this female hormone disrupts a chemical balance in your body. Mm -hmm. And because of that chemical uh, imbalance... <laughs> You are able to last longer in bed, as opposed to those with a healthy BMI. <laughs> that doesn't make no kind of sense, man. I'm being a question of study. I'm amused by the idea of, like, you're in bed, right? And you're in balance. You're like, Washington, Washington, and you're trying to hang in there. And it's taking longer because you're trying to hang in there. I know it's not physical balance, but nonetheless... <laughs> It's a questionable way of... It's, I like the result. Questionable uh, reasoning behind it. And look, according to the results of this study, overweight men last 7.3 minutes, whereas men with a healthy BMI last 1.8 minutes. Oh! <laughs> all right, first of all, I'm back to liking this study. Okay, because fat men just dropped a, a big old gut on everybody else. I mean, they flew off the top rope, and they were like, belly splash! Are you kidding me? What are we doing? We're quintupling? We're, we're, we're quadrupling? What are we doing? We're taking laps around these skinny folks. Mm -hmm. They're like, they're done in a minute and a half, and we're taking, we're like, oh, here we go with the imbalance business. Uh, so, and then second of all, mm -hmm. even 7.3 minutes is fairly disastrous. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, <laughs> really? You guys are proud of 7.3 minutes? Is no, but I'm just like... Compared to the puny 1.8 minutes, good luck with those skinny boys. Yeah, look, that's one of the things that kind of made me think that this study is incorrect. Uh, I result. bet it isn't, though. I, that's the sad one fact. Point, really? 1.8 minutes? I, that's I, really sad, man. you got to last a little longer for your woman. <laughs> I couldn't that's agree more, but I'm a fat dude. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm 7.3. Are you kidding me? I'm talking about 73 minutes. Oh, please. <laughs> By the way, 73 minutes, you're like... <laughs> Everybody's exhausted. They're like, oh, please stop. Get the fat man with the imbalance problem to stop. Please, I can't take it anymore. You want a fat man on top of you for 73 minutes? I don't think anybody does. <laughs> right. Anyway, I'm proud of my people. I don't mean the Turkish people. I mean the fat people. You go get them, man. Hang in there, which you apparently you already are. And for those of you who are uh, wondering what university did this study, it's um, Erdüyes. Correct? Not bad. Yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, I, I haven't heard of it, but it's either Argius or Archius. University. <laughs> University. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Casper. Thank you.